everybody, welcome to our channel. My name is Cynthia Ortiz and today we will be working on first grade math addition stories. Let's look at a problem and solve it together. Number one, three dogs are laying on the grass. Two dogs are running. How many dogs are there in all? Okay, so before I actually get started on this problem, I want to ask myself, what do I already know? So to do this, I'm going to reread my problem and start circling things that I already know. Okay? Three dogs are laying on the grass. How many dogs are laying on the grass? Three. So I'm going to circle three dogs. Two dogs are running. How many dogs are running? Two. So let's circle two dogs. Now I need to know how many dogs are there in all? So what I like to do with my question is underline it. In order to solve this problem, I need to figure out what operation am I going to do? Am I going to add or am I going to subtract? So I have two different parts. Let's go ahead and start by writing those two different parts here. I'm going to use different colors to help me organize my information. So I have three dogs and I have two dogs. What will I do with these two numbers? Will I add or will I subtract? If you said add, you are correct. How do I know this? My question asks in all. When I see in all, I know that I have to add. So I'm going to grab three plus two and add those up. There's different ways that you can add. You can hold up a fist and say the first number, three. So let's go ahead and do that, three. And then count up holding two numbers. So three, four, five. So my answer is five. And that is the whole. Another way you can solve this is you can use pictures. So I have three dogs. So I'm just gonna draw some circles and two more. So those will be red. And then we just count them in all. So let's go ahead and count just to make sure we're correct. One, two, three, four, five. Very good, that is exactly what we got. So let's go ahead and look at another example. We have four frogs are swimming in the pond. Two frogs are sitting on a rock. How many frogs are there in all? So remember, first we have to figure out what we already know. I know that how many frogs are in the pond? Four. So let's go ahead and circle four frogs. Two frogs are sitting on a rock. How many frogs are sitting on a rock? Two. So let's circle that. Two frogs. How many frogs are there in all? So that's what I need to know. So I will underline my question. And just like the last one, we need to ask ourselves, am I going to add these two numbers to find out the whole, or am I going to subtract them? If you said add, you are correct. We will add because in all means to add. Okay, so our first part is Four. Let's write four for part one. And I can go ahead and write that over here too for my addition number sentence. So how many frogs are sitting on a rock? Two. So let's go ahead and write that second part. Two. Okay, now remember there are different ways to solve this problem. I can hold up a fist and say four and count up two. Okay, so let's try that. Four five, six. What was my answer? Six. Very good. So four plus two equals six. Four plus two gives me a whole of six. And if you need visuals, remember you can draw pictures. I have four circles. Plus two more. And let's count them all to make sure that we have a total of six. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that what we got? Yes. Good job. Okay, let's try another example. Number three. Five friends are eating pizza. One friend is eating a hamburger. How many friends are eating in all? So, once again, I'm going to go back and circle what I already know. How many friends are eating pizza? Five. So go ahead and circle five friends. Now, let's see how many friends are eating a hamburger. It says one friend is eating a hamburger. So let's go ahead and circle one friend, okay? So I need to find out what am I going to do, add or subtract. When I have part, part, and bring them together to make a whole, am I adding or subtracting? I am adding, good. We know that in all means to add. Right? Okay, so let's write our first part, which is five, down in our box, and the second part in our box. I have five and one, so that means I'm going to do five plus one equals what? So everybody holds up a fist and say five, and we're going to jump up one. Ready? Five, six. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. Good. That means that when I have 5 and 1 and bring them together to make a whole, I get a total of 6. Very good. So, that wraps up today's lesson on addition stories for first grade. I hope that you found this video very useful. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more learning videos. Thank you. Bye.